guys, so I've been asked a bunch of times um, to do a video on this, it's really simple, uh, so I figured we'd take the time. So this is a Honda AF16 motor out of a Honda Elite, uh, same as the AF18 Honda Dio, but this theory is gonna apply to 99% of two-stroke cylinders. The, this is a vertical motor, the motor's gonna go up this way, horizontal, the cylinder's gonna be this way, your exhaust out the bottom. So Piaggio motors, um, Minarelli, Zuma motors, the horizontals are gonna be this way. Same theory, exact same process, um, uh, this is just how they go together, super simple. So again, this motor, um, this has a 45 millimeter mini stroke crank in it right now. It's not put together, it's just mocked up. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and install a Polini Corsa, okay, 70cc Polini Corsa kit. For now, we're just putting a Melosi MHR head on it just because this is a partial kit I had out of the box and I'm just doing this just kind of to show you guys how it goes together. Um, we've got our gasket kit, it includes a base gasket, an O-ring and exhaust gasket. These exhaust gaskets, guys, don't use these with aftermarket pipes. You'll bend your pipe. So if you have an aftermarket pipe you're running on your course, which I hope you do, you want to use a 28 or 30 millimeter copper ring gasket, which we sell. Um, these guys are only meant for the stock pipe. So the only part you're going to need to put this cylinder kit on, screwdriver, a pair of pliers to get the C-clip in, depending on what type of C-clip you have. You could have a screwdriver and push it in. Um, a pair of hemostat needle noses to, to compress it and push it in as well. And then you also want to have Honda Bond or Yama Bond. Don't use RTV. Um, don't use the Shucks Sealant Harbor Freight stuff. That stuff is junk. Honda Bond, Yama Bond. There are some other brands um, that I think um, uh, Loctite makes some brands. But make sure you're using a good quality sealant as well. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so first thing I suggest when you guys are putting a motor together is make sure the surface is clean, okay? Um, make sure the surface is clean, hit with brake cleaner. You want to get this kind of buffed out and smooth. If you take a screwdriver and you're doing this at it and you're putting gouges in it, your seal's never going to be good here. So um, first thing you want to do, if you have studs, you want to put your studs in. You want to make sure to hit all these four holes here with compressed air to blow any debris out. If you guys have oil or liquid down the bottom and you turn these down, um, a lot of times you can actually um, you can strip out your threads or mess up your aluminum because you're trying to compress that liquid or oil down on the bottom of those holes. So you want to make sure those are clean and dry. So you've got your studs in, okay? So once you get those guys in, that's the path that your cylinder is going to slide down. This is your cylinder. Just to show you guys how this is going to work, just like so. The cylinder's going to slide right down like that. So studs are nice because it locates the cylinder, allows you to pull this, the parts off. Um, if a lot of bikes will have the bolts and you have to take all the bolts off and take the cylinder off. So you've got your one clip in on this side. So I like to take this, put it in just a little bit like so, right about there. Slide your bearing into the rod. You take this guy, make sure it's positioned the right way. The arrow going this way. Slide it over the top. Get it lined up, you're gonna push this wrist pin in just like so. So now what you're left with is on this side, you've got this clip in place, right? and your, your uh, wrist pin is all the way up against this clip. Coming around the other side, your wrist pin's all the way in, but you've got no clip. So now what we need to do is take one of these G-clips, squeeze it, and put it in place. You guys are gonna get run over, or you're gonna kill somebody. Come on. All right, so this step is where most people have issues. Um, if you don't get this C-clip in all the way and it comes out, it moves up and down inside the cylinder and you'll completely wreck your cylinder and piston. So you wanna make sure to do this right. So what I'm gonna do is take these guys here. I'm gonna pinch this C-clip just like so. Now, not all clips are gonna be like this. Not all of them have this bend. If they don't have the bend, you typically get one side in and I work the other side in, but you don't wanna scratch the heck out of the piston. This guy, you just squeeze down just a little bit. You have to get it kind of towards the end, like so. If I squeeze down just a little bit. If you squeeze down too much, you're gonna deform this, this uh, clip and it's gonna come out. So you just take it, squeeze it just a little bit. There it goes, just like that. What? Are you are you eating like a are you eating like a ham sandwich or something? Cause I can I can barely hear you. Are you eating lunch? Ham sandwich. You don't like ham sandwiches? I eat ham. What's you don't like ham sandwiches? Okay. But, 
You sell ham sandwiches? No, love. Love Oh, you love ham sandwiches. Okay. All right, let's keep going. You? Yeah, I love ham sandwiches. I like turkey sandwiches, tuna sandwiches, ham sandwiches. Okay, right. I, the ones that taste the best are the ones that your wife makes for me. Those are the best ones. Always taste better when somebody else makes them for you. I don't have a wife. Oh, well, you're, uh, she's not your wife anymore. She's mine, so. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna show you guys another mesh method of putting the C-clip. Um, if you don't have the pliers and you just have a pair of screwdriver or have a screwdriver, so if you don't have a pair of pliers, you just have a screwdriver. Here's another method that works. Make sure you cover up your engine itself uh, with a paper towel or with a rag. That way the C-clip falls down, doesn't go into your engine. So just push a little bit, snaps right into place. So um, I always keep my finger, keep some tension on that so it doesn't spring back out. There it goes. So just kind of work it, um, make sure it's in position all the way as you can see right there. It's not snaps in just like that. So once it's in, I like to turn it a little bit just to make sure um, it's 100% in its groove. You can just get your driver in here and just kind of turn it one way or the other. Obviously, this is not the best method. Your best method is to use a pair of um, hemostats or really, really narrow um, needle nose pliers where you can get in here and squeeze these. But if you have to use a screwdriver and this is all you have, make this work. So. Take your rag out of here. Of course, you're gonna have your base gasket on here and it's gonna be all covered in Honda Bond like we spoke about um, a little bit earlier in the video. So your next step here, what you wanna do is you wanna get these rings lined up on the detent. So there's gonna be pins that stick out in these ring lens. Actually, I'll show you guys right here. So here's your piston. Um, here in the, in this area here, you're gonna have these little pins that stick out. There it is. Okay, so you get here in this uh, your ring land here. You're gonna have there's one pin there. There's another pin. Your ring gap, which is this portion here, needs to fit over that pin. If you go over like this, I've made tons of videos. It's gonna break. So. It needs to be over that one and over this one. Okay, if you go over the top, you're gonna break your ring. And I get video, I get people email me all the time. Hey, you sent me a kit with broken rings. No, they didn't come with broken rings. It's somebody just put them over the top of those pins and they broke. So I typically kind of take and, and locate the top one. See how it just kind of snaps in there. Okay, locate the top one and I locate the bottom. What I do is I just put my fingers here and I just hold it here like this, take the cylinder, Makes it easier when you have studs. What you're gonna do is just slowly go right over the top. This guy here, and you're not gonna, it's not gonna require any real force. It's just gonna drop right into place, just like that. So if your cylinder doesn't slide on just like that, then you've got something wrong. So now you've got the bottom end is Honda bonded. You've got your base gasket, cylinder's on. You've rotated around, make sure the piston goes up and down good so you know there's no problems there. Um, the next thing I like to do so I'm just gonna use a, uh, this is just a Melosi head, same theory though. Like I said, I'm, I'm just, I'm not trying to take apart a bunch of boxes if I don't have to. So this O-ring, I actually like to take this and coat this in Honda Bond just so it sticks in its place. If you have a, um, some of the cheaper kits are gonna have a stamped metal head gasket, you wanna hit that with Honda Bond here as well and, and uh, to make sure it seals up good because they're more prone to leaking. So got the O-ring, roll it in a little bit of Honda Bond so it makes it tacky and you're gonna take it and you're gonna make sure Okay, your fins are going the right direction because the air comes up and over this motor and down the other side. The fins need to be this way, spark plugs angled back. So, you're gonna simply take it, throw the top like so, and then you're left with your studs, which these are tall, they're stroker studs. Um, you're just gonna drop your four nuts on there and look at, depending on what bike you're doing, you wanna look at the OEM manufacturer specifications for the torque on this. Um, again, a uh, few notes. It's good to use thread lock on these guys. I always use thread locker. I always use thread locker right here and then use them on the nuts as well to make sure it doesn't come off. There's a lot of vibration going on. So hopefully that helps show you guys, give you guys an idea um, how to solve a big board kit. Again, this is gonna be the same theory if it's a Zuma, um, if it's a Jog, if it's a Chinese Minarelli, if it's a Honda Elite, Honda Spree, it's all gonna be the same theory. Some bikes are gonna have um, bolts here and some bikes are gonna have studs. Studs are nice for this reason because you can just slide everything over, you wanna take it apart. It's very simple, slide it off. You wanna do a rebuild in your backyard, side of the road or whatever. 
it's just that simple. I mean, it, it's four bolts to take this top end off. So um, again, thank you for watching. You guys have any questions, let us know.